welcome back to Space Style Radio's Cryptid Tales. My name is Amber Beckrude, and today we are going to be talking about another wonderful UFO sighting. Now, this UFO sighting happened a little bit closer to where I live now, and I'm actually kind of excited about it. Now, unfortunately, because there isn't a lot that I can do in terms of getting the rights and permission to actually show video clips or anything like that on our channel, I will not be able to include any of the actual um, documentary reports or anything like that that there were done on this UFO sighting. So you'll have to bear with me on that one. I would love to be able to actually put something out there and be able to show you um, the stories that people have told in the documentaries, but it's just not gonna happen. We don't have that kind of time, unfortunately. So, that being said, we are going to talk about the Clarenville, Newfoundland UFO sighting in 1978. So not that long ago in all realness. Um, now, this happened almost, almost exactly a year ago. Um, this happened in October of 1978 in Clarenville, Newfoundland. And the special thing about this one and why it is one of the most well-known UFO sightings in, Can in Canada, in Canadian history, is that it was seen by multiple people. Not just one, two, like, no, like a lot of people actually saw this UFO sighting. So let's rewind and go back to the beginning. Back in October of 1978, the RCMP got a phone call from numerous people about the sightings of a strange aircraft over Clarenville and Random Island. So, Constable Jim Blackwood went on out to go and investigate this suspicious aircraft. Well, he arrived on scene. The UFO was still present. So now you have not only town members and citizens of the local area, but you also have an RCMP officer viewing this exact same object. So thankfully for Constable Blackwood, he did have a high powered scope on him that was actually on loan for some other surveillance at the time. So he decided to watch it. The craft stayed in the area for about an hour and a half, which is a really long time if you think about it, when most of our UFO sightings actually only happen for maybe 30 seconds to two minutes. So for an hour and a half, the aircraft stayed in sight and visible to everybody watching it. When he decided to switch on the roof lights on his cruiser, the aircraft almost seemed to mimic the light responses. So you know how police lights always do like flashes and it goes and whatever. So the aircraft did the exact same thing back to him. This was also really, really strange. Now this made headline news at the time. It was broadcast on CBC, on NTV, which is the local television station. And when it did disappear, it took off like a bright shooting star. Two years after the incident, even the BBC did a documentary on UFO sightings and covered the Clarenville sighting. So like I mentioned before, it was one of the most well-known sightings here in Canada. My question is, why did this craft stay around for so long? An hour and a half is a really long time when you really think about it. I mean, it takes an hour and a half for me to actually get to Clarenville. So that is, well, that's, yeah, it takes about two hours. It takes about two hours for me to get to Clarenville. So for most of the time that it takes me to get there, it sat in the sky over this town, witnessing all of the events around it, seeing, I don't even know how many people, actually staring at this aircraft, mimicking the RCMP cruiser and just, observing. I don't know what it would have been doing. Of course, it is a question of maybe it was just studying the human race. Maybe it was trying to see how people would react. Maybe there was something else to it. So here comes the question for all of you guys. Do you think that with this Clarenville UFO sighting, 
there was actually something more to it. Were we being checked out by uh, extraterrestrials trying to figure out what was going on on Earth? Were they looking for something in particular? Do you think it was just a military aircraft that just happened to be over the area and it was scanning something? The variables are enormous, but it's still one of the most well known. And to have some proof to the degree of a uh, RCMP officer actually saw these things, it's not just people's hearsay or, oh, well, I saw this weird thing in the sky last night. No, there are legitimate accounts from government officials. It's all really fishy to me. And honestly, it is probably one of the most well-known cases that I would 100% and definitely say that was a UFO sighting. What do you guys think? I would really like to know your opinions on this one. And you know what? Feel free to go and try and find on YouTube those um, clips from what was broadcast on CBC, what was broadcast on NTV. They're probably floating out there somewhere. Let's face it, the internet has everything. <laughs> So let me know what you guys think down below. I would really like to know if you think that this should stay one of the greatest UFO sightings in history or if we should start looking into it a little deeper. That is it, I think, for me and this wonderful, lovely episode of Cryptid Tales. I would like to give a huge shout out to Ron Bumblefoot Ball. Thank you so much for all of our music here on Space Out Radio. And of course, don't forget to sign up for the Space Travelers Club, where you can get access to a lot of cool items and things, as well as our merch store, which is free for you to peruse while we get closer and closer to gift giving times. All in all, don't forget to check out our social media, mine as well as the rest of Spaced Out Radio's social media. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, and a load of other places. I love you guys all so very much and I cannot wait to see you in the next episode.